What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Won't you stand with me? Well, one thing that'll make it easier to stand with me is a stand. And this is uh, more than just a stand. It's a tripod. So, boom. And what you can see here is it's branded Amazon Basics, which, you know, so far I've really actually enjoyed them. And so I wanted to share this one with you and see what it looks like. I needed a new tripod. I, I, I you know, The one I had is older. It was cheap to begin with. It's falling apart. Uh, it's really hard to get the camera to stay level. And so why not get a new tripod? I didn't want to break the bank on it because hiccups. Because just having the camera raised up is kind of all I really need. As you can see here, it does come with like an adjustable strap and a nylon carrying case here, which is kind of impressive. You can see that it opens up here with the zipper. And I'll say it's kind of impressive because this was not an expensive tripod. It wasn't the cheapest one I could find by any means, but it's certainly only a fraction of some of the ones that are even mid-range, right? All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, it really actually looks quite nice. It's got this, I don't know, kind of bronze matte, you know, brushed finish look on the legs. And you can see a private label there, Amazon Basics. I'm sure they just take some other brand and just slap it on there uh, and stock a million of these things. So first of all, you can see this is aluminum hardware. These, these brackets down here are aluminum. Um, all the black is plastic. Uh, it has the, I, I actually really like these legs because they are um, tightening latches here. So you can extend these out and then you can kind of put them in infinite lengths because wherever you push the sucker down, it's gonna stay locked. So if I lock this one too, now these things won't move. And so you can really dial in a specific height if you want. You could even use these on a table and then for taking a group photo like on level ground or anything in between, assuming that you get, get um, you know, within that 50 inch max height. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna pull these back in here and then they just go back like that and you can put that back down. You can see the feet here are angled. They're just a hard plastic, not rub not really rubberized. We do have some texture on the bottom to help grip them in. Okay, so I'm gonna just set it up here like this and I wanna show you uh, first of all, all right, so what we do have, and actually I wasn't sure about this, uh, the, the, the center portion up here does go up and down. Sometimes these have a crank because they're on kind of like a, um, a gear, but this one does not. It just goes up and down and you might be able to see here, we have a little twist knob, which I'm assuming that will lock that in place. So that's kind of nice. I didn't know that this top portion was adjustable. Let me see how high it goes. I'm only going to say that maybe there's about eight inches of extension on the top, but that's actually pretty nice. And then you'll want to twist that on. And then up here, what we have is where you would mount it. So there's just a, what do you call it? A quarter inch screw there with a little detent here to lock it in place. So you could mount a camera through its screw hole right on the top here. This is all textured waffle pattern rubber on the top here. So you could lock that in place. I use one of those uh, smartphone camera holders that locks into place and then I put my camera in it. You can see here that, uh, you know, it's a pretty big one. Then you have a little lever right here. And if I lift that up, what that's gonna do here is should release this top piece. All right, so you can see that. So what we can do here is get access to the screw. So once you put something on here, you can screw it down through there. And then it has a little um, angled, you know, piece right here. So you put that down and then you open up this lever, put that in here, uh, just like that, drop the lever and now it's in there. It's kind of locked in. All right, so you have that and you have this handle right here, which not only allows you to adjust that angle of the base, but then when you turn it clockwise, it locks it in so you don't have to worry about it moving around and then counterclockwise to loosen it up again. Now you also have some adjustment laterally. So you could go up here. I, I suppose you can always use this to kind of even things out if the tripod is a little off or something like that. But because it goes flat to vertical, you can also put a camera outside if, you know, assume you're filming portrait or something like that. And this also has its own tightening screw. So if I turn that up like that, you can kind of see it has like a GoPro style type of mount there. And then I can tighten this in and that won't move either. So between tightening this and tightening this, you can really dial in a specific angle and hold it there. That's actually really good for time-lapse, something that you're gonna leave for a long time and you don't want wind and elements and you know those kinds of things to move anything. 
So uh, I'm pretty impressed with this. This was only about 20-ish dollars. Again, you know, some of the plastic here, you can see the seams. It's not the highest quality one I've ever seen. You know, some of these, uh, the, the tolerances up here aren't the tightest, but I'll be honest, they're not the worst I've ever seen either. And for some of these tripods that I've had that I've busted uh, are just really, really poor quality. Um, you also have a bubble level right there if that matters to you. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to pick one up. Peter Ron Panda, out!